Howdy there, YouTube. Treetop Piper, back with you guys for another first impression. Today, we've got some Smoker's Haven in-between mixture from 2013. The gentleman I was able to get it from actually bought it from the store in 2013. And you can see just barely it says for 2013. So this was labeled, uh, had the price tag put on it uh, in April of 2013. So... You know, this is a five-year-old blend, pretty much. I mean, I, I would imagine that uh, by the time they labeled it, it had already had six months on it, I bet. So this is a five-year-old tin. Um, still sealed. You can, there's quite a bit of pressure uh, uh, on the uh, tin. You can tell it's it's been fermenting, I would say. And the uh, <clears throat> the tin description is in-between mixture. The perfect in-between tobacco. When, from the moment you jump out of bed and reach for your favorite briar, till you put it back on the rack and, and get ready to sleep, bowlful after bowlful, in-between will please you all day. The true purpose of in-between tobacco is for our pipe-smoking friends who find mild and mellow, too bland, and our best blend a bit too rich. Why mix these two quality tobaccos when you have the answer to your taste satisfaction in our in-between blend? Smoker's Haven, and then it goes on to give their uh, address. But uh, just a wonderful little tin. Love the tin art. Just love the tin art. I love these blends. I mean, I, I can't say it enough. Just great blends. Anyway, I was lucky enough to find a gentleman who was willing to part with it for a very fair price. Very fair price, in fact. Um... I would have paid double easily and still been still would have been a fair price. But anyway, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy and see what we're dealing with here. Oh man, it just went because <laughs> there was so much pressure. Oh yeah. Not quite as fine of a cut as the exotic mixture or the uh, the cognac mixture. But I'll put it in the light there for you. So you can check that out. Look at that stuff. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking aged vintage tobacco. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Slightly wet, slightly moist. Um, yeah, it's slightly moist. Maybe five minutes of dry time and this, this stuff will be ready to rock. Uh, ooh. This reminds me of... Uh, Let's say maybe standard mixture by Dunhill or uh, oh man, it's it's sweet. There's definitely there's a the Virginias are definitely making their presence known. Sweet, smoky, tangy. I mean, all the good things that you want out of a out of a um an all day smoking English. Mmm, just a lovely, lovely smell. Looks like you got some red Virginias, some brights, you got the Orientals, you got the Latakia. And the Latakia looks like it's got some age on it too because uh, it actually has um, some uh, some plume on it. The Latakia does. So anyway, so you guys can get a little bit better of a look. That is what we're dealing with. This I would call a ribbon cut. This I would not say is a shag cut. And also there are a few of these kind of chunkier pieces. You know, little flecks, I guess you would call them, uh, that are in this. But then you got uh, some really nice looking Latakia in there. That's got some real deal age on it. I know that I don't have the best lighting in the world. And that it's difficult for you guys to see this, but as I as I've said before to a few guys, that I, I am working on it. Um, I've got some work this week lined up, so I'll, I should have some money to spend on some nice stuff. But anyway, man, just a lovely, sweet, smoky, tangy. Really does remind me of uh, mm, nightcap or standard mixture, something like that. Mm, just wonderful. You can tell that 
tobaccos top quality as 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 of course as the per the usual of Tremaine's um and uh mm, just a lovely lovely smell perfect english smell not too dry and by you know what i mean by dry it's not it's got some sweetness to it and uh it looks like it's just a well balanced blend you got a good portion of latakia good portion of orientals decent portion of the uh Virginia's. But anyway, I'm going to let this dry out and I uh, will be right back. Hey guys, <clears throat> back. Going to go ahead and do the uh, first light here. Let it dry out sufficiently and or, I already let it dry out sufficiently. So it's time to uh, give this a, uh, give it a try. So here we go. Kind of reminds me of King Charles a little bit. Really nice smoke already, I can tell. You know, this is just a pled really really nice English um it's got some rich richness to it um it's not you know the richest blend uh English blend I've ever smoked it's not as um rich as say nightcap but I would say just around standard mixture maybe slightly richer um, and I just, that last puff there got the sweetness of the Virginias. Oh yeah. The Virginias are definitely making their presence known. <clears throat> really, really well balanced blend, I can tell you that. And I really do like these kind of English blends where... There's just a little bit more Virginia in it than a Balkan blend would have, so it's just got that added depth of that added sweetness that that really rounds out the taste. And I can totally see this being an all-day smoke for me. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I just straight up every Smoker's Haven blend I've had. This is the fourth one I've had. Excuse me. Is it? This is the third one. I've had the Cognac, the Exotic, and the In-Between Mixture. Yeah, this is the third one. And they've just been, all of them have just been spot on. And this one's got a really nice natural sweetness to it that you don't typically get out of... <clears throat> A lot of English blends or I wouldn't say a lot of English blends but like standard mixture doesn't have that depth it's it's a much drier smoke um, you know it doesn't have that sweetness to it mm. it's a little bit more Virginia forward than a typical um, than a typical Balkan or English blend. Um, not quite as Virginia forward as, say, special Latakia flake, but definitely more so than like King Charles or the exotic mixture. Those are a little bit more Oriental forward, I would say. And it's funny though, because there's a lot of Latakia in this. A lot of Latakia. <laughs> um,
not quite as much as say Margate, but definitely more than King Charles or uh, some of the others I've had by Germain's. Mm. Just a delicious, complex. Super well-balanced blend. Great flavors. Um, really great flavors here, actually. I mean, I am glad I could do it with a vintage tin, but I almost, I feel like, you know, the other ones that I've had were the latest release, 2017, March of 2017. So <clears throat> I just hope that, you know, that's not affecting how good it tastes. Although I'm imagine, I would imagine a brand new tin of this is probably amazing as well, but you know, you, you can't really do a really good scientific experimentation when you have variables, when different variables, you know, if they were all released at the same time, then you could really do a great comparison. But because this one's got five years on it, you can't really um, do a proper comparison, I guess, is what I would say. But nonetheless, most excellent blend, extremely well balanced. And just a slightly, just a slight bit more sweet than your typical English blend. And I think that's due to the, to the higher um, content of Virginia's. You know, there's no casing on it at all, but it's just got this wonderful bit of sweetness to it. Um, it's like your typical English blend that just has a skosh of, a skosh extra sweetness to it that just really rounds it out. And that's, you know, that's what I look for in a good all day blend. Something that's just nice and round, got a nice full round flavor, but not too rich. Something that I, that I, you know, I'm not going to get tired of, you know, uh, cause something like, let's say nightcap, you know, I, I, I can't smoke that all day. It's just too rich. There's just too much going on. It's something that you would smoke at the end of the day <clears throat> after a really good meal or something. Whereas this here, it's got, um, it's got, it's got the richness, but not to the extent that, that it's, you know, uh, an evening blend. And I see exactly why they call it the in-between mixture because it really is just a really nice, uh, a really nice all day smoking English with this nice, Nice English flavors to it, you know, that the Latakia and the Orientals are right there, but uh, that added sweetness from the Virginias just really, really adds something special to this one, I would say. Um, you know, uh, something that you don't get from, from, you know, every English. Some Englishes are a little drier than others, and this one, I would say, is, is slightly sweeter. It's not sweet like cognac mixture. You know, it doesn't have a topping on it or anything like that, but... Uh, they upped the um, the percentage of Virginias, or they used a sweeter version of Virginias, or something that is just giving it this wonderful full round flavor. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here, and I'll be back in a minute when I'm finished. <coughs> hey guys. Back, we're down to the, uh, I'd say about the last quarter here. And um, first and foremost, just a really well-balanced all-day um, English smoke. Not something that I would necessarily smoke on an empty stomach, but um, I mean, it has a decent bit of nicotine to it, I guess, for, from the Virginias, I would imagine, because there's a little bit more Virginia presence in here. But um, excellent take on an all-day uh, English. Has that natural sweetness from the Viet, from the Virginias, which is really nice. Um, really nice change of pace for an English. And uh, <clears throat> right around the halfway bowl, or part of the bowl, um, the Virginias kind of start to move towards the forefront, or it becomes the more dominant flavor. The Latakia tends to be right behind it, 
with the dominance. I mean, it's not much more dominant than the Latakia, but it's extremely well balanced. <clears throat> and the Latakia kind of plays peekaboo, you know, it, for a second it'll, you know, you're like, where'd it go? And then, I'll, and then it'll pop back in and be like, hey, I'm here, bud. You know, don't forget about me. <laughs> and uh, the Orientals are there. They add a little bit of a pungency to the retro hail. But I think the stars of the show here is the Virginias and the Latakias to a lesser extent. Um, this isn't like a exotic mixture type deal where it's a, you know, a Balkan blend, you know, an Oriental forward English blend. It's more of a an English blend that's uh, that's Virginia forward, I would say. And uh, Latakia is number two and the Orientals are number three. Um Really good blend, though. Uh, like I said, that Latakia kind of plays peekaboo a little bit. That Virginia sweetness is there the whole the whole bowl through. Um, I would say slightly intensifies. Um, still, just almost just more of a natural sweetness. And it just matures as you get to the bowl into this, just a really mellow, round <clears throat> flavor. It's not showing off. Um, you know, the last quarter of the bowl is almost the best part of the bowl, I would say. With a lot of these Smoker's Haven blends. Mmm. Room note isn't too bad. Um, I don't think it's as uh, obtrusive as some other um, uh, Latakia heavy blends. Uh, it's it's not as uh, I wouldn't you know the early morning pipe. I don't think it's a very good comparison to for this. Um, the standard mixture would be an okay comparison, only there's an added sweetness to it. I would almost say this kind of reminds me of like a Mississippi River minus the Perique. You know, it has that real natural uh, Virginia sweetness, and it has the presence of the Orientals and the Latakias in there as well. So it's like this really well-balanced, mellow smoke. Just about had it. But like I said, the Virginias are only just barely... Um, I would say the Virginias are the star of the show, but they're not overbearing or overpowering. The Latakia is there. The Orientals are, are not quite as noticeable as some of the other Smoker's Haven blends. And I would almost say that this kind of reminds me of maybe the, the Dunhill Baby's Bottom, uh, um, you know, where it's more or less Virginia Latakia forward. But Baby's Bottom has no Orientals, whereas this does. But they're just, they don't have this big presence. Um, it's more the, the Virginias and the Latakia that have the main presence here. Just a really nice, well-balanced English. It's got this nice round flavor with those Virginias. Um, just an A1 smoke, I mean, an A1 smoke, just like every other one of these Smoker's Haven blends. I mean, they're just spot on. Um, <clears throat> if I, I mean, I wish I could get more of it. Anyway, this bowl is donezo, as well as the review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys <clears throat> got a good idea of what what's in this tin you know what this in-between mixture is about and um <clears throat> i hope you guys had a good day and uh enjoy the rest of your week and until next time treetop piper over and out